One, two, three, four. Alimajay. Oh, what'd I do to deserve this? A wild woman of the Wild West. I'm gonna get in your pants right now. That's the only time she'll be in his pants. It'll take more than a male model look. Magnum. Blue steel. To pull the reins in on her. The bowl is meant for one person, not two. He wasn't letting anything stop him. Three get the X, one gets the date. I don't know what surprise was better. The jacuzzi or Ashley in her swimsuit. It all starts now. A One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> My name is Ashley. I'm a recent homeowner and a world traveler. My favorite hobby is probably decorating my home right now because um, I've only had it about a month. I recently moved back to Scottsdale. I've been living out of the country for a while and now I'm uh, ready to be back part of the Scottsdale scene. I've got the house and the car now. I'm just looking for Mr. Right. A limited. <laughs> In round one, I'm taking the guy to the Rawhide Wild Wild West. Uh, I thought it would be a fun thing to see out here in Arizona that I haven't gotten a chance to do yet. I'm really hoping that someone can take the reins and be creative and uh, not just follow me along. I'm confident I'm going to win this today because of the fact that I am the total package. I have wit, charm, intelligence, as well as a naughty side. I'm Brett. I'm a research analyst for a PR firm. Hi, I'm Ashley. Brett. Nice to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. This is for you. Thank you. He's good looking. Um, you know, nice presence about him. I think I have an edge on the rest of these guys because I know what life's about. I know how to treat a woman. My name is Lou. I'm a waiter in an Italian restaurant, and I'm a true gentleman. Hi, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. Ashley. Nice to meet you. Fair for you. Thank Thank you. you. Maybe you can adopt it yourself. He looked, you know, just like the sweetest, nicest guy when he walked out, just like the teddy bear he brought me. I feel that chivalry is still around today, but a lot of people have forgotten how to use it. My name is Jeff, and I'm in the Army Reserve. Hi. Hi. A rose for a beautiful woman and a bottle of wine for us later. Oh, thank you. <laughs> when I first saw Ashley, I thought, whoa, what'd I do to deserve this? I'm always fun, I have a good time, always in a great mood, and uh, I'd like to lift other people up to uh, be in a good mood like me. How you doing? I'm Jamie, and I'm a systems analyst. <laughs> <laughs> Good horse, good stag. What's your name? My name's Jamie. Hi Jamie, how you going? Pleased to meet you. You as well. You know, if you're gonna make an entrance, why not make an entrance? You know, there was a horse just hanging out, and I figured, why not? A lot of guys like to bring flowers, bottles of wine, teddy bears, stuff, stuff like that, it's kind of average. I went out of my way to bring you an Eliminate action figure. She not only gets one of me, but she also gets a miniature me as well. The full package is in effect. Really, there's not a lot to it. Trip to Kinko's, some glue, and a uh, ten dollar bought at Target. I thought the action figure was the dumbest thing I ever saw. Is this a date or is it a toy drive? You could take that as kind of cocky. I just thought it was really outgoing, and it was nice to see somebody really think outside the box for once. Where to? What do you guys want to go do? <laughs> Why don't we head this way, guys? All right. <laughs> So what do you do? I'm a graphic designer. I just graduated. Oh, yeah. um, Jamie, what do you do? Are you I'm, a wrangler? No, actually I work with a law firm. I'm a systems analyst. You're kidding. That's a surprise. Oh, what do you do? I'm a uh, front desk supervisor at a hotel. OK. And uh, I'm also a student, and I'm in the Army Reserves. Oh, so wow. I'm kind of juggling. <laughs> I'm juggling a lot of things at once. I actually am um, a research analyst for a public relations firm that markets small and mid-cap publicly traded companies. Oh, wow. Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys. I had a little confession. I uh, wore my lucky bra today. Did you guys do anything lucky to, before you came on my date? Lucky. Uh, I brushed my teeth. <laughs> and that's, that's a good thing. That's a know. great thing, yeah. I guess if you have halitosis, then brushing your teeth is definitely a lucky thing to do. <laughs> oh, no, I brushed my teeth. Well, I brought my lucky hat. Um, Actually, no, I didn't. One of the cowboys gave it to me, but uh, <laughs> it looked lucky to me. And, uh, Twice forever. <laughs> Why don't we uh, go and have a drink? Sounds good to me. While we were strolling through Wild Wild West, I decided to stop at the Margarita Bar and maybe loosen the guys up with a, a couple of drinks. Cheers. <laughs> Salute. 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 While we were um, having our margaritas, I decided to ask the guys about their past relationship. I maybe had a problem. I left a couple of relationships traveling, and that's kind of tough. What, what maybe ended the last couple of your relationships, or what kind of problems did you have? Let's just start from over here. Oh, basically, I had uh, work-related problems, and uh, I had some family issues I had to clear up in New York. Can't believe you said that. When you're on a date, I mean, bring in family issues. And you? I'm generalizing when I say this, but I'm about 26 years old, so it's like I meet older women that are mature, professional, and successful, and I enjoy their conversation, although they want to get married in a matter of a couple months. I just think you're a little too cocky for Ashley. I think you're better stick to the older women. My problem is I meet a, little, uh, a lot of women that are a little 
immature or too much party and want to go on. They're not looking to have a relationship. They just, you know, get your approval and then boom, they're out to the next person to see if they can try to capture their approval. Jamie? Well, actually, I just haven't met a girl that can keep up. Oh, really? Have you guys seen this before, the mechanical bull? Oh, yeah. You know what? I've seen that in movies. One of the main attractions here at the Wild Wild West is the mechanical bull. So I'm ready to see if the guys have what it takes to be tough enough to stay on and uh, ride bull. I really want to go on this. Are you guys up for this? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. I'm up for this. You're Absolutely. not going to let me show you up. All the time. Oh, no. How about whoever stays on the longest side of the gentleman here gets a kiss? Okay. That sounds we, I think we can work something out on that. But I don't want to go wearing a skirt, so I think one of you guys should give me your pants, and then I can try first. And, you know, you all have boxers on, so it'll be. Uh -huh. Certainly. Who all right. Give me the pants? Oh, I'm all about it. I'm down. When Ashley said she didn't have any pants, I was quick to offer mine because I'm just the kind of guy that if she was cold, I'd not offer my jacket. <laughs> but what if yours fit better? Well, we'll see, won't we? You want to try them all on? Yeah, I'm going to try them all on, whoever's fit the best. I'm going to get in your pants right now, so. Hey, you know. <laughs> yeah. hey not your chance, man. I mean, come on. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. How's it going? How y'all doing? <laughs> Jeff had on his little, I don't even know if he had underwear on or not, what he was wearing. Your little tidy bites are pretty funny. You guys are pretty much cuter like that. <laughs> Jamie and Lou had on boxers, and I thought they would look really cute. No peeking, turn around. Oh, and face the north. <laughs> Only in Arizona can you take your pants off. <laughs> Jamie kind of looked like he had the smallest waist, and uh, I thought that I'd try those first. The other guys looked maybe a little bit bigger than he was, and I, I didn't want to go up and have them fall off. <laughs> All right. I got boxers on. All right. Well, she obviously has excellent taste in pants. It's okay that Ashley wore Jamie's pants first because that's the only time she'll be in his pants and she'll be in mine later. Good luck, Moore. Stand in my underwear. All you guys <laughs> have to stand in your underwear. Yeah, but I don't have to. I can grab my pants. <laughs> that's true. I was really surprised that Brett put his pants back on. I thought it was a surefire thing that they would have kept their pants off. Obviously, they were enjoying tromping around in their underwear with each other, so, that, you know, each to his own. All right, I think I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. All right. Uh, hold on, hold on. Your ask your form is all wrong. My form is wrong? Yeah, look, I know horses and I know what needs to be done, so this guy. let me jump up here with you. What does he think he's doing? All right. Oh, All right, fire it up. Let's go. I think I'm going to do it by myself. Oh, damn. Uh -oh. Jimmy, buddy, the ball is meant for one person, not two. You need a chiropractor after this. I think he likes it too much. Doesn't want to throw you off. <laughs> I think I'm good at this. Yeah. I'm impressed. Cowboy up, Ashley. Who's going to be next? I'll go. You're up, buddy. Yep. All right. Look, I'll hop up and give you lessons, too, but you're not as cute as Ashley. So, uh, you're out. Oh, I made noise. I like that it makes Oh! No, what's down? 13 seconds. I'm wondering if those 13 seconds are something he carries over all the time. All of his activities. Go for it, player. When riding that bull, I held on for dear life. He wasn't letting anything stop him. He was holding on as best he could. And they laughed at you when you ordered that time master. <laughs> not bad, not bad. 17 seconds. All right. I think those tidy whites cut all the circulation to his brain, and that bull probably inflicted a little too much punishment for him. Nice. Right. He's a professional. Let's see. Woohoo! Oh, Dad! Oh, oh Dad! Being that I was in boxers, I was a little concerned that, uh, you know, some stuff might slip out and show. Right. Good time in this one. Here we go! All right, all right. Uh, I'm not a cowboy, but I know I can ride that mechanical bull better than the rest of those guys. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. At first, I hurt a little bit, and after I fell off, I was like, what was I thinking? I don't know. What are these 20 seconds right here? 20 seconds? Yeah, 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, Coming up, who will Ashley cut first? I think Ashley's gonna cut Lou. Uh, Bull Wright may have impressed her, but quite frankly, he's not the total package. I think Brett's gonna get cut because he's arrogant and very cocky. I think uh, Ashley's gonna cut Lou first because he stole my kiss. I am afraid that Jack is gonna be the one cut. And I'm a day. Who do you think Ashley will eliminate first? Jeff, Lou, Brett, or Jamie? I had the best date with you guys. You guys were all awesome. I had so much fun. I hate to cut anybody, but I do have to cut somebody. And Brad, I'm sorry I had to cut you because I thought you were just a little bit too cocky the whole time. It was well, really nice to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet all you guys. The first round! It was the first round. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, God. His confidence got the better of him. I'm stunned. I, I can't believe, you know, I, just, I can't believe, I can't believe this. Brett, on your next date, maybe don't expect the girl to like you, because that's not always the way it turns out. I had a good time, um, you know, great guys, good girl. I wish her the best of luck. Two, I thought since we were already at Rawhide, uh, why not take them out for dinner at the steakhouse? The first thing we did when we got inside the steakhouse was hit the bar for a couple of drinks. I thought, gotta get a little looser. I thought you were a little quiet in the first round, so I, I think I'm gonna interrogate you a little bit more on this round. Interrogating. I'm wondering what you're like uh, behind closed doors. I'm very, what do you think your best asset is? I'm very funny. I think I have a lot of uh, a very good, fun, sarcastic humor. The fact that Lou said his sense of humor was one of his best assets is funny in itself because I haven't heard Lou say anything funny all night long. I think my chest. Your I think chest. My chest. I think that's yeah. the best asset that I have. Can we have a little peek? You want a little peek at my yeah. chest? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, take a little something off and show us your assets. All right. Very nice, very nice. That's like, what, a solid A cup? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just easy. <laughs> he kept on massaging it and cupping it like he was filling up a woman. I don't think that was very impressive. You know, I really, I'd have to say my enormous biceps, all right? Really? They're huge and, uh, you know, I do spend a lot of time at the gym, you know, at least three or four hours a day. And so, I, I mean, I sarcastic. really, I think it really shows. Go on, you might want to use both hands. Yeah, you uh, want to arm wrestle on the bar? <laughs> If I win, will you be embarrassed? Oh, you got some there. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think she'll beat you. Jamie said his best asset was his bulging biceps, but <laughs> I got bigger toes than you have biceps. I don't have bulging biceps, all right? Like, I work out, I'm in, I'm in decent shape, but I'm no Arnold. Obviously, I wasn't serious. I was just making fun of Jeff. Here's to the boys that I love the best. There we go. I wanted to spice things up a little bit, so I thought I'd ask these guys a sexual question. I just wanted to see how they'd respond, if they were playful or shy. I was thinking I'd have you make your most sexual face for me so that I could see what you'd look like. Oh, the old face. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know, I like to take the cue from Derek Zoolander yeah. and give him Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> Or if that doesn't work, I usually go with like blue steel. Now pay very close attention. Magnum. Blue steel. Well, since you brought up the big O, I was kind of thinking that blue would give me a good example of um, what it sounds like when you get to that phase. The O phase? No, oh. the, the sound. Oh, the like, sound that was, comes out? I was looking for the audiovisual aid, like the oh my god noise. When you get to that point, you're just like, Oh my god! I start sweating. Lou gave me the Minuteman answer with just one big oh my god. Lou's sexual face looks like he was giving birth. You know, the one thing I really think Lou is best at in the bedroom is sleeping. People sound hurt after that oh. <laughs> Does your O sound better? Are you saying you cannot do his O? No, I'm saying I'm afraid of his O. <laughs> I fear your O. Should I fear your O? My O is kind of just like a. <laughs> And then, you know, it just goes and goes and goes, and then it's like, oh! Uh, I thought, that's the kind of face that would make me hop out of bed, not in it. <laughs> Jeff, what? lay one on me. Lay one on you. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Woo. So, oh. Jeff, what were you doing? Were you having an orgasm there, or were you taking a dump? <laughs> oh. You know what? All three guys lost points on the orgasm. I thought none of them hit the big O. Who will Ashley cut next? Jeff should be cut because he's very quiet and doesn't really have much there. Lou because he hasn't said a word all night. I think Ashley's gonna cut Lou because he just hasn't made an impact yet. A limited day. <laughs> Who is Ashley going to eliminate next? Jamie, Jeff, or Lou? Guys, I had such a good time. Dinner was really fun for me. We had some really great laughs at the bar. I thought you guys really stepped up to the plate, so it made it even harder to make another cut. But that's the name of the game. So, Lou, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I just thought I didn't get to know you well yeah. enough still, and uh, I don't know, it was a little quiet on your end of the table, so I'm really sorry, but... All right. Yeah, she's gonna miss out on my great personality and exciting adventure. When Lou was cut, his reaction was a lot like his old face. Lou had to be removed from the date because he just didn't put forth as big as effort as the other two did. Ashley, after round three is over, you get to know the real G.I. Joe and the real action figure. You're gonna realize that you wish you'd never let me go. 
That's really nice. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. So in round three, I decided to take the guys in a little limo ride for a nightcap. Oh, you first. Everybody <laughs> is. Thank you, Next. Look at that. All right. All right, so now that you got us in the limo, where are we going? It's a surprise. I can't ruin the surprise for you. <laughs> oh, smooth. To the final round, be the best man wins. Up here, here. The guys didn't know this when we got in the limo, but my big surprise was to end the evening with a nice jacuzzi and a cold bottle of champagne. This is our final stop, so you're just going to have to trust me and uh, walk this way. <laughs> in the walk over, they were kind of speechless. I thought they kind of had it under control, and then they looked a little worried when we started walking outside. Awesome. We are going here, so Ooh. I forgot to tell you guys that, oh, this was my surprise, but did you guys bring your bathing suits? Uh -huh. When I saw the jacuzzi, I mean, I pretty much knew that stuff was going to get a little bit crazy. You didn't bring your bathing suits? Bathing suits? I had I it earlier, but I didn't know that we were going to be coming here. Oh, sorry, guys. I brought mine, and I, I put it on underneath, so uh, I, I kind of, I don't know. You guys, you guys can improvise if you want. So. I'm, I'm gonna hop in. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta, you gotta do. do. what you gotta do. The whole time we were in the limo, Ashley kept talking about the surprise. And once we got there, I don't know what surprise was better. The jacuzzi or Ashley in her swimsuit. And you guys are slow. Ashley was smoking. I don't think there's any other word to describe that. So I don't know, it's just really sexy. When the guys got down to their boxers, I was definitely taking notice. I was looking to see who maybe kept in better shape, and I think Jeff kind of took that one. I just want to make sure you guys feel like you've had an opportunity to impress me, do anything for me you think is going to win me over, or tell me something else about you that maybe I should know before I choose, or... You know, if we were to meet up again after the show, that uh, I would take you out on a night that you would never forget. Like to say, I treat you like a princess, but that's kind of cliche, but I would definitely <laughs> treat you right. Jamie, when he was talking about how he would treat her as a princess for one night and, uh, and so on, uh, of course he would because he's, inter he's the guy who's interested in those one night stands. Final words? Uh, I would uh, take you out for a week, you wouldn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'd have a good time, like wine you, dine you, music, whatever you'd like to do. Jeff's answer of treating the girl like a princess for a week instead of a day, not really original and uh, I don't think it was the one that she wanted to hear. So guys. Um, one of you's got to cut the other one. If you were me, which one would it be? Come on, I'm we're not going to cut ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, that's, that's, that's Why? Quite a... Why would you cut the other one? What did he? What did you do better, or what did he do wrong? You know, I kind of take risks from time to time, and whether they're entertaining or not, I take them anyway. So uh, I don't know. Good answer. I'm just glad that I was the first one giving Ashley the kiss. Uh, I, I definitely don't envy Jeff having to kiss her after I did. Will it be Jamie or Jeff? Ashley's final cut is next. A limited day. <laughs> well, guys, this really brings us to the end. I can't believe we went through this whole long day and I've really gotten to know you guys and I wish we had even more time because I had so much fun. You guys really stepped up to the plate in this round. I was totally impressed, but I do have to cut somebody because that's the way the show goes. I'm sorry, Jeff. I decided oh. to go with Jamie, but you are so great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you anyway. Yeah, I guess bringing Barbie, Ken dolls to girls. Maybe I should try that sometime if they help me out in the future. I caught Jeff because I felt I had a little bit more going on with Jamie in the last round and I just kind of, I had to go with his answers a little bit more. Hey, you know, just drive on. Yeah. <laughs>